Hello. Well, here we are again. I, I, I make these videos as, as things are happening, as the phone calls come in, um, as I hear stories from other managers, and, and there's usually a trend of, uh, of the, the, the subject matter from, from numerous sources, sources. So I want to talk about uh, recalling a board member and petitions. And uh, I, I keep hearing these, these same words over and over. We're going to petition to remove a board member. We're going to, you know, make sure management gets them out. Well, you know, these, these sayings are just, they don't make sense to experienced managers. And they kind of startle and scare some of the current board members. So I wanted to get this out there. Um, because there are groups of unhappy owners and uh, sometimes it's justified that the, the board member that they want to recall is either acting improperly or, or you know, acting rudely or, or controlling everything. Um, I get calls a lot about the tyrannical board, usually a very bad president that, that has complete control over everything and, and doesn't let anybody either give their opinion or access to documents. So. I want to talk about recall in Florida per state statute. There's a process, okay? And this is all easily found online. You just go to Google and put Florida condo board recall. And there will be so many guides there to include some from the DBPR. But overall, I wanted to go over that there's two ways to, to recall a board member. And again, caveat here, I am not an attorney. Anytime you encounter this, please run this by your attorney uh, and they will guide you as to what to do next. Again, if you're management or the board. And if you're a group of owners that wants to recall a board member, you may also want to consider uh, hiring an attorney that's familiar with the process so they can guide you. It'll cost you a couple hundred bucks, but it'll save you a lot of time because what I'm finding is that a lot of groups that want to recall board members are not doing it properly and they're wasting a lot of time. A lot of management time, a lot of, manage, uh, a lot of frustrating emotional times with current board members that feel insulted or unappreciated. So we want to make sure that both sides, if, you, if you're the group that wants to recall the board member, you have that right, at least in Florida, other states, check, check your statutes and, and procedures. But we want to make sure you do it right so nobody's wasting time. And, and please, cut it out with the insults and uh, plastering the walls with pictures. You don't have that right. If you're, if you're a group of owners recalling a board member, you don't have the right to um, post and paste and glue and the common areas with your flyers or insults. You know, you're still neighbors. You're still neighbors, so keep it professional. Go for the recall, do whatever you gotta do, but there's no need to be uh, soliciting in, uh, your, your neighbors and, and, and stating all these insults. And, you know, state your case, the reason, and get it done. So there's two ways to recall in Florida, and that is uh, by a vote at a meeting and by written agreement. So, in a nutshell, and again, find this online, by vote at a meeting is when a group of owners or a representative of the group wishing to have the recall uh, gets a signed petition by 10% of the owners of the property and advises the board, hey look, I got 10%, we need to hold a meeting and we're going to have a meeting to vote for a recall. Well. A lot of times they think that that's it. That's all I got to do. I got 10% of the signatures and we're done. Management's going to handle the rest of this recall. That's not the case. Sorry. If you're that group or that group's representative, you are going to handle the mailing. You're going to handle the printing. You're going to handle all of that. And that's why I recommend that if you are that person or a group, contact an attorney. You know, say, hey, how do I do this? Um, so you're going to have to, you know, provide all that. And if it's, if you succeed and, you know, the, you get the 10% the, the signatures, you do the mailing, you hold the meeting within 10 to 60 days after the mailing, um, you notice the board, you, you do everything that's required in the statute. 
and you recall less than a majority of the board, well, the remaining members of the board um, have to appoint new board members to those vacancies. If you're recalling the entire board or a majority, you'll have to name those that are replacing the recalled board members. So that's the first way, and that is the most confusing part with this 10% of signatures and hey, we're gonna get 10% and you're out. That's not the case. It's a very complicated process, and from what I've read and heard from attorneys, that vote by a meeting is rarely successful. So the other way, the second way to do it is to uh, have a recall by written agreement. And that's basically a ballot. You can find it online. It's a form, and it chooses to either recall or retain a board member the owner signing the ballot um, checks off. You can't have a pre-checked ballot to retain or, or recall a board member, and you you have to gain a majority. So it's 51 percent. You have to gather 51 percent or more of the voting interest, and then serve the board or management or maybe the attorney. Again, check with your attorney. Uh, that you have these votes. Now, it's recommended that you get much more than a majority because some of those votes may not be valid. It may not be the uh, owner signing, it could be a tenant, it could be that the unit is owned by a, a corporation and we don't have the corporation documents and a voting certificate. I mean, it gets complicated, so you might go through all this work and find out that a lot of the, the ballots or forms that you've submitted are no good. You're not gonna be happy with that. So once the, the owner's rep or the group, the owner's rep collects these uh, ballots, forms, they serve the board, um, these agreements by certified mail or process server. The board then has five business days uh, starting after receipt of these forms to hold a meeting to either certify or not certify the recall. If the board votes to not certify the recall, there's a very limited number of reasons for that, usually because you don't get enough uh, signed agreements for a majority. Uh, then if they don't certify the recall, they must petition for recall arbitration with the DBPR. Again, not my field here. Contact your attorney, I can't say it enough, but important. And then, if the board certifies a recall, well, the recall director is off. If it's less than a majority of the board, the remaining board members appoint a new board member. And if the board chooses not to hold a meeting, then the director or directors sought to be recalled are automatically off the board within uh, at the fifth business day um, after the service of the recall agreement has been served. So again, it's a legal process and owners have the right to do that. Congratulations, fantastic, I'm all for it. Um, but make sure you, you, you act professional and, and there's a little bit of etiquette. Um, you don't insult your neighbors, you don't, you don't stress everybody out to the point that it, it can get violent, dare I say, because I've, I've seen it, maybe you've seen it, Owners are kind of at each other's throats and finger pointing and screaming. Not good. At the end of the day, you're going to have to see these people anyway. So recall, do it right, get counsel. If you're a current board member being recalled, don't worry about it. If you've done nothing wrong, if it's just politics, I hate to say it, just relax, don't worry about it, let the process play out. And maybe you're going to learn something from it. You know, maybe, maybe you're being recalled because uh, you make decisions too quickly and people don't feel that like they're being heard. It's a big deal, you know, transparency and all. So uh, if you need anything, please reach out to me, Corel Costa Armas, uh, corelcosta.com or homeownerassociationconsulting.com. I'm here to help. I help new boards, old boards. I help groups of owners. I help all sorts of people, just give me a call, let me know what, uh, what I can uh, help you with. 
see my YouTube channel, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Homeowner Association Consulting, and uh, maybe we'll talk. Take care.